Hi friends, I'm here with the yoga offering. As always, please do what feels right for you. You're welcome to skip anything or change anything so you're taking good care of yourself. Let's begin on our backs. You can come into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Go ahead and spread out. Slow down your breath. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you. And let's slide arms overhead. Stretch out long through your fingers and toes. Interlace your fingers, press out through your palms, flex your feet. And then release and bring your right knee in. Give it a little squeeze, jiggle, rock. And then straighten the right leg up, holding somewhere behind your leg. Flex and point your foot. Circle your ankle a couple times, both directions. Hmm. Bend your knee in, open your knee out to the right. Straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of the left leg. Hmm. Bend your knee in. Take it across for a spinal twist. Open out through the right arm. And then staying in your twist, try straightening the right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. And then roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock with your knees. <sighs> Grab hold of just the left knee. Drop the right leg long. Squeeze this knee in close. Straighten this leg up. Flex and point. Circle both directions. Bend your knee in, open your knee out to the left, and straighten part way or all the way out to the side, grounding down through the back of your right leg. And then release, bend your knee and bring it across for a spinal twist. Open out through the left arm. First with a bent knee. And then try straightening left leg on a low diagonal. Left arm on a high diagonal. And roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Circle or rock your knees. Hmm. And then drop your feet to the floor. And get set up for a little bit of core work. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Exhale, lift, head and chest up. Inhale, release down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Up. And down, up, and down, up, and down. Let's take two more. Last one. Release down. Bring your right knee in and your left elbow across so they come towards one another. 
and then stretch it out really long. Bring it in, reach it long. Knee in, reach long, in, reach long. One more. And then switch. Left knee in, right elbow across, and then stretch it out long. Knee in, reach long, in, reach long, in, reach long. One more. And then release, stretch both legs up. Let's outwardly rotate the legs, bring one leg in front of the other, and then switch. And go back and forth, switching quickly, as quickly as you can, as you slowly lower your legs towards the floor. When it gets difficult to keep the lower back on the floor, head back up. Slow, lower and lifts, quick little switches, strong core, relaxed face. <sighs> One more, lower and left. And then release, bring your knees in. Take a circle or rock. Make your way up. Let's come on to hands and knees, tabletop. If you wanna pad your knees, feel free to put something under there. Hands right under shoulders, fingers spread, knees under hips. Take a few rolls through the spine. Lifting head and tailbone arching, stretching the front side, and then round. Draw the belly in. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now inhale, arch. Shift your weight forward, bend your elbows straight back and dip part way or all the way to the floor. Press up from there, round. Arch. Go forward to dip down, elbows hugging the sides of the body. If going all the way down is too much, just part way might be plenty. Press up from there, round. Arch. Dip down, press up, round, arch, one more time, S round and sink back to child's pose, hips to the heels. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left, and then pull back through right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center. Over to the other side, pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. Mm. Back to center. Lift up through table and into down dog. Opening up the backs of the legs. You can pedal out your feet a little bit. And then walk hands and feet towards one another. Hang and ragdoll. Feet hip width apart. Parallel. Bend your knees a little or a lot. Maybe take a sway or shake out. Mm. 
Mm. Bend your knees a little more, slowly roll up. <sighs> we'll come to standing mountain pose, Tadasana. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Fold forward, swan dive down. Lengthen, part way up. Plant the hands, step back, high push up to lower down, chaturanga. Come into your back bend, cobra or up dog. And then back to down dog when you're ready. From down dog, let's take the right leg up. Bend your knee to your chest. Circle this bent right knee a couple big times, as big as you can. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, send it a little higher, and then a big step forward. Low lunge. Feel free to pad the back knee using a blanket or rolling up the side of the mat. And you may want to grab blocks for your hands. Find a distance between the legs so that when you're sinking your hips forward, your knee is more or less over your ankle. If it's too far back, if your foot's too far back, it might bring a little further forward. Hands can stay down on the floor or blocks. Might bring hands to your knee, your hips, all the way up. Last breath here. Release hands to the floor or blocks. Tape the hips back. Inch the front foot forward. Flex toes back. Hands right under shoulders as high as you need them. Ah, square off hips. Reach out through the top of the head, back through the sit bones. Hmm. If going further forward towards splits feels right, you're welcome to. You can adjust a little deeper in or back out slightly as you like. If you did slide your way forward, you might slide back as you come into lizard pose. Both hands to the inside, turn out through the right foot, and then find your way down onto hands or elbows, blocks or the floor. Might shift your weight a little this way or that way. Could bend the back leg, draw it in. Hmm. And then release. Let's make our way back to down dog. Might take a vinyasa or just step back. Or move in some other way. From down dog, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in, start circling. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight and then a big step forward. Low lunge. You can pad the back knee, you might grab blocks for your hands, find the distance between your legs that suits you. And then at any point you might adjust the position of your arms, your upper body, maybe something similar to what you did on the other side. Hmm. Feeling your breath.
Last one here. Hands to the floor, or blocks, take the hips back. Inch the front foot forward, flexing toes back, hamstring stretch going towards hip square, towards a flat back, towards folding, maybe towards splits, Hanumanasana. Good. Slide forward, slide your way back, both hands to the inside for lizard. Turn out through the left foot, shift your weight forward, and then feel around inside the pose, finding your edge, finding how does this work for this body now. Maybe you add a quad stretch, maybe you don't. Moving purposefully. Last breath here. Let's release. Make your way back to down dog, feeling whatever you are choosing to do, taking the time you need to do it, finding your way. And then five deep breaths and a good rest. Come back through down dog and into a pigeon pose on the right side. Slide the right knee forward, scoot back through the left leg. Help the hips get as low as they'll go and then let the upper body release towards the floor. You might rest into some support, a block, or rest your head on your hands. Hmm. Bring the upper body back up. Take your time. <sighs> if you have anything under your hip that's in your way, you can move it so you can lean to the right. Slide the left knee forward and then flip the knees to the other side and send the right leg back. And if that didn't get you into a good pigeon pose on the left side, find your way there. Left knee forward, right leg back. Square off the hips. Add any support and then release towards the floor. <sighs>
Let's bring the upper body back up. Move anything out of your way, lean to the left. This time bring the right knee on top of the left for Gomukhasana, cow face pose. So you can scoot your knee on top of knee, ankles further out to the sides or back towards your hips. Feel free to sit up on something or straighten the bottom leg or both. So this works for your body. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee, right hand into a fist, press down, using this to ground the hips, especially that right hip and a little lever to open through the right shoulder, a little twist. Mm. Last breath here. Let's keep the hips as they are. Release the upper body around to the front and then bring the right elbow on top of the left. Eagle arms will put some pressure between the elbows like you're trying to pull them apart, spreading the upper back and rib cage. Torso wide and long. Interlace fingers behind the back, roll the shoulders open, and then fold over your legs, maybe reaching arms up and back away from you. <sighs> Release, come up, unwind, switch, left leg on top, scooch knee on top of knee as best you can. Make any adjustments, we'll bring right elbow cross, left hand into a fist, pressing down, rolling open through the top shoulder. Breath, breath by breath, seeing what's possible. Mm. Last breath here. And let's release. Come around to the front, left elbow on top, eagle arms. Pressure between the elbows, spreading upper back, torso. Let's interlace fingers behind the back, maybe the other thumb on top this time, opening up the heart, perhaps folding forward. Maybe reaching arms up and back. And then release, come up, unwind. Take a little windshield wiper side to side. And then let's roll back onto our backs, bring your knees in. Take a little circle or rock here, massaging the lower back and sacrum into the floor. Let's drop feet to the floor for bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel, lift your hips high. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Shrug your shoulders underneath you. Spread the upper back and lower back away from one another. Hips as high as you can. And then take your arms out of your way. Roll down and rest.
Let's come up again. This time place a block under your sacrum. Find the height that works for you. Placement that works for you, a little bit lower than the lower back. Hips resting down onto it. And then bring your right knee to your chest, straighten the left leg and let the front of the left leg open up, yawning open through the front of the left hip. Bring left knee in, drop right leg long, squeeze left knee in close. And feel it even on the two sides. Bring both knees in. Hmm. And you might straighten the legs up in the air or along the floor or bring your feet back to the floor. Come into some neutral shape where you can find ease. Maybe not totally passive, but how much can you relax here? We're going to come through any other leg positions. You are welcome. Just keep feeling what you're doing, giving it the time it needs, being purposeful with your movement. We are moving towards the end of this practice. If you have more time to practice and want to keep going, please do. <clears throat> if you'd like to wrap things up with me here now, check in with yourself. What do you need to feel complete? What would feel good next? Or what last poses might you like to get in? Maybe happy baby. Maybe another restorative pose, or a twist, or an inversion. Really anything or nothing. If nothing's needed, you can start getting comfortable in your final resting pose. <coughs> Caring for yourself in your way. You can learn so much from teachers and others who have been exploring their bodies and learning about their own bodies. And we each have unique bodies, so we can make it up, customize it, finding what suits each of us now. Letting go. And 
When you are ready to come into your rest, you can let go of the control of your breath. <sighs> let go of all the doing. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again. Let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out long through your arms and legs. And bring your knees in. And roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And then use your hands to help you out to sitting. Hmm. Bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for your support in whatever ways you're able to do that. I really do appreciate every contribution, small, large, Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Checks are all easy ways to show me a little financial love. I really enjoy what I do, and I have bills like everybody else, so thank you for um, donating freely. It means a lot to me.